And new at five, the new Nowata County Sheriff Terry Sue Barnett says the jail is in bad shape and it's a danger not only to inmates but also employees. News on six is Sawyer Bussey is live in Nowata. Sawyer. That's right, Craig and Lori. I'm standing in a pod that's being used for storage right now because the conditions in this particular space are just unlivable. You can see there's cables hanging from air vents. These air vents are exposed as well, and that's a safety concern. And then we're going to walk into the bathroom, and I'll show you that these toilets are just unusable. I can move these with my foot. These are just a few of the issues that the sheriff brought to county commissioners today. You know, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Under Sheriff Mark Kirshner says the women's bathroom at the Nawada County Jail hasn't had a working sink for more than a month. In order for inmates to do basic things like washing their hands, he tells me they have to go to the shower. I can't imagine as a female trying to stay hygienic and, and do things you need to do under these conditions. It's appalling to me, much less someone that actually has to stay here. The condition of the bathrooms in another section make a whole pod unusable. Exposed cables hang in the middle of the hallways and rooms where inmates live. They could use it to hang themselves. They could use it to strangle somebody else. And jail employees say inmates could use exposed metal air conditioning vents as weapons. If there's a fire, the jail does not have a spring system. It's just a constant danger for them, for us, for for anybody in general that comes in or out of this facility. Moisture is causing mold to grow, most noticeably on the kitchen ceiling. There may be innocent people in here, even the people that are convicted or guilty. They don't deserve to live like this. Current female pod that we actually house our females in. Jail employees you know, say there's not enough money to fix all the problems in the building that's more than a century old. It truly does make things difficult in the modern world when you're literally working in a place that's a trip back in time. The sheriff's report to commissioners also mentions a lack of fire alarms and emergency exits. The sheriff told me that she understands that this isn't going to be a quick process. She's not expecting immediate results, but hopes that now commissioners are aware of the problems, that they'll form a team to do something about them. For now, we're live in Nawada. Sawyer Bussey, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.